Our guys today targeting these guys, hogfish, using dead shrimp only. I'm using one of MV3, MV3 Bait's uh, hog balls here in pink, uh, one ounce. It's frozen shrimp, threaded on a J hook. Oh, wait, are, you, are we allowed to use J hooks? Circle hook. <laughs> uh, circle hook, sorry, it's not J hook. Just bite. All right, guys, the bite is on fire. This is the same thing happened last week, right around the. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Oh, right? yeah, got my foot real good. Come on, man. Jordan's throwing keeper hogfish at my feet while I'm fighting a beast right now. <laughs> Coming up. Ah, uh, it's not even a beast. <laughs> it's a baby beast. Probably, probably a keeper, but not a big one. <laughs> That's funny. Not too bad. It's not. It's bleeding, but not that bad. It's just a poke. You know, like fucking hurts. The poke is like. Yeah, right in the fucking side of the foot. Too. It's that catfish is hard. See what's going on down there. He's got hogfish flying on the deck. We can't even put them in the box because the bite's still on right now. Try this again. Take your hog ball. Throw it on your dead shrimp. That's all you need to do. 30 pound leader. I'm using about six feet of it. But you can use three to six feet. It'd be fine. Double up on him, Jordan. Let's go. Let's quadruple up on him. Whole boat. Just bam, bam, bam. All right, guys. I just want to go over the tackle that I was using. So these are some of the jig heads from MV3 baits. These ones here are the hog balls, and uh, these are awesome. This is what I was using on this trip. I was using my BG MQ. 
uh, 6K on my Redline rods, custom rod. Um, check him out, I'll leave a link down below for Redline rods, uh, my preferred rod builder in the area, and uh, I'll also leave a link for MV3 baits. But let me just show you um, how I rig up here. Um, I'll show you my knocker rig for hogfish and then um, how I tie on these hog balls. So, I'm just gonna tie a uni knot. Just loop the line around like that. Sorry. Bring it back up. So now you have the, the loop like that. And then you bring your line up over the loop and you make another loop underneath. Here. And then I'm gonna wrap this around the line in between my other loop here about six times. Just like that. And then you're gonna pull your tag in to cinch it. Just to kind of tighten it up. Like that. Focus, focus, focus. Not gonna focus. I like to wet the line. <clears throat> and then you pull it tight by pulling the main line. Just like that. Then you can trim your tag end. Boom, that's how I tie on the hog balls. First thing, don't forget your weight. I like using anywhere from half ounce to two ounces for hogfish, uh, depending on the depth I'm fishing and the current. So you got your weight. I like to use two to three beads. I don't know why, but for hogfish it just, it works. I don't know if it helps attract them over kinda or just with the bouncing of the weight, kind of deadens it a little bit. I'm gonna put three beads on. Now I'm gonna take one of my circle hooks. And same thing, I'm just gonna tie this on with a uni knot. You can use whatever knot, I mean, for the hog ball or for for your hook, whatever you're comfortable tying. This is just the knot that I like. Never fails on me. your hogfish knocker rig right there and this is probably my favorite rig um, between that and the hog ball I mean either of these will work good for hogfish but I don't know it depends on the day last trip I was having better luck with the hog ball um, the trip from two weeks ago uh, this is all I was using right here was the, the knocker rig so try both of these rigs out um, dead shrimp live shrimp whatever you want to use Actually, be a keeper.
I didn't think you could. I got a baby. <laughs> Sabotage. 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 <laughs> again for tuning in be sure to try out these rigs check out red lion rods on facebook get up eric lowney get your custom rod built and also don't forget to check out mv3 baits on facebook uh, make some awesome jigs uh, hit him up get your custom order going for some hog ball jig heads you know whatever you need also if you're not subscribed yet be sure to hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you know when we upload a video and let us know in the comments what, what you guys think um, of this video, the other videos, what you want to see next, more hogfish videos, you want to see us go out for gags, 
just let us know. These next three weeks, we're gonna be fishing some kingfish tournaments. Uh, we're going out with Sunray Marine and Todd from Tampa Bay Fishing Channel. So stay tuned for those videos, it's gonna be a good time. And hopefully we catch one of them winning fish in these tournaments. I think that's gonna do it. Catch you all later, peace.